I need some water. Be right back. I returned. And I f my throat feels slightly better. Uh, okay. Yep, we've already seen all that. But thank you. Hey, dude. At the old Snalkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Morning at the pickaxe if you're town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. I'm surprised Angus hasn't said anything. To me. I mean, Senator Guinness. Why is he not saying anything? I don't know why I thought Dad was supposed to be on the couch today. It's like, no, it's morning. It's mom. It's mom talk time. Honey, you okay? Uh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No! Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You're a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we had given up hope. And, there, there, and then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant... No, I'm not pregnant! It was not in this it was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about something else? Sure. You know if you did have a baby. Okay. I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. I think every mother is excited for their daughters to have babies because they want grandchildren. Maybe that's every mom for every child ever. But I'm, I'm speaking from May's point of view, which is, you know, the daughter. And my mom's like, I want grandkids. And I'm like, I have not even. No. What? No. Let me find someone to actually want to spend the rest of my life with first. Thank you. Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dr the dryer on the wrong setting. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Yes, please. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is, so is too short. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grow hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Summers. That che they cheer you up? They did! Yay! Oh yeah, I'm gonna talk to you again. Shikoski's up there again. Is he ever, like... He ever, like, dropped that telescope? Oh no, he cried his eyes out. He loves that thing more than us kids. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Colin. He visits every once in a while? He's hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like once, like only like twice a week. Should be every night. I've never done karaoke. Uh, I don't think I'd be that great because I'm actually a really shitty singer in my opinion. Bad weather's coming soon. I feel it in my bones. Thank you. Nope. Let's go see some more stars, sir! Hey! Mr. Chukovsky! You look a bit worse for the word today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? You know it! Come have a look. Put the filter on. Put the filter on. Put the filter on. Ah, damn it. Is this? Uh, 
Oh, hang on. India Astra? You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina's stories when I was a kid. I'm sure I'm saying her name wrong, so I'm terribly sorry. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How she and her quest turned her back on the sky and journeyed down to the earth where her stars were no longer over her head. And how she was never seen again. Yep. Whatever. Is that not a sad ending? I mean, yeah, she probably died. She lived well. She did amazing things. It's not sad to die having done so much. I guess. Still sucks dying. It's a shame. Okay, so I got one. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Got it! I think I got one? Let us see. Whoa! Oh. Ferdinator the Mountaineer. Ferdinator. It's a fun name. It is. So what's up with this guy? Ferdinator was from a flatland. This Midwest? Where are the Midwest of whatever he was from? Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't that a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I have not regretted it. You like Pawson Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day of their lives. So what happened to Ferdinand? Ferdinand? I, I'm still butchering names. He returned home. He complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds, and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, they bring something back when one returns. One. One. Oof. That's it for the day. That was nice. How many of them are there? I kind of want to know. <clears throat> Pretty sweet, the stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Yay! Oh! Little Joe's dang skull. Is this why this, his spirit wanders? Maybe. Must he be avenged? Saw him! <clears throat> oh. <laughs> I just thought they didn't corn off. Sorry, guys. Sorry, little squirrels. Woo! I just landed on that guy's head. Sorry, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna go see Bay, but I really wanna- Actually, wait, no, hang on. I'm gonna go up to see- Cause I didn't see them yesterday. I kind of am sad. I hope I didn't miss anything. Okay, well, Patrick's K is not here, so let's see if we can find Bruce. Brucey! Did you get the thing you wanted? I'm really curious. Hey, Bruce! Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this is this until tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused your trouble. But I'm not worth throwing her away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Are you leaving? Yep. Gonna hop a train tonight. Head east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch, watch my grandbabies play in the yard. I'll be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. We'll have a sign made. they made. Nothing fancy. Poster board markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. 
That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever gotten to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. Oh. I feel shitty because I never really talked to him yesterday. But, you know, good for him. I'm guessing he just, he's just gonna go turn his life around, which is good. Woo! Would she be in here? I'm not gonna talk to Pastor Kay until tomorrow like Bruce wanted, but I'm gonna see if she's in here. Hi, Mom. Hey, hon. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hon. <clears throat> it brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday, it's full then. I bet it is. Gotta get back to work. Okay, see you, mommers. See you, daughters. Oh. So, their relationship, Maze and her mom, remind me a lot of about my mom and our relationship we have with each other because a lot of situations that May is in right now I went through when I was younger and my mom was there to kind of help me see through so it it's very in some way it, it's very kind of like refreshing and on a very personal level this game like connects with me in some way so I, I, I kind of like it for that I'm not destructive like me, but, you know, personality or and, and events happening, you know, is similar to what I went through. Hey, bae. Hey. You all right? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Ugh, what are you up to today? Uh, wandering around town. Have fun. I'm going to go hang out with Greg today. I really miss Gregers. Gregory! Wait, why can't I go up here? Or go in here? Because this is this where Angus and Greg live? What's happening? Whoa! I'm on the roof! Whoops. Come on. Yeah. There's nothing up here. <laughs> Where am I going now? Whoa. Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. Hi! Um, hello. Hello. I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Exploring. Same way I found it. Did you know? This is the only stage in town. Are you on stage a lot? Nope! Not for a long time. Or not for a long, long time at least. Looks like no one played here in a long, long time. Yeah, I've been a few decades. Hi, Pigeon. Are you gonna, like, put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna be putting anything on here. At least not anytime soon. No electricity, probably structurally unsound. Infested with rats and pigeons. Other than the electricity, that's, like, most of the town. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Ah, pentagram. 
Yep, that's a, that was a pentagram. Because I have a new place to explore. Oh god! Well, <laughs> I was gonna say like I don't think I just jump off the building, but I was proven wrong by everyone. Oops. So how did that arm get here? Someone just like running down the street. Whoops! My arm fell off. I'll just come back for that later. No one can survive their arm just falling off, or being chopped off. Like not by a doctor. Is it called assault if you chop off an arm? Seems like it should be a different word. Arm choppy. You are under arrest for arm choppy. Oh man, you have a way with words. Whoever's arm that was is probably dead. Nah, definitely. Unless I see someone walking around who's until recently had an arm. Okay, let's go see Greg. Greg! Greg, let's do something. I miss you, man. Supper, dude. Hey! How are you holding up? Surviving. I had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. Jeez. And they were kind of an asshole. Huh. Yep, that's how my week's going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushy? To replace the idea of a caring God? I can throw in some chips. Haha, <laughs> I'm good. So what's up? Let's hang out. Yeah, man, let's roll. Yay! I'm gonna hang out with Greg. I'm so happy. Oh, shit. That's, that's terrifying. Huh, so this is the thing. This is the thing. It's kind of our son. We brought him into this world. Well, you helped. It kind of smells weird. Anyway, so what are we gonna do tonight? I don't know, we have Bay's car. Oh, really? We should go to Dota Wolf. Oh, yeah. I haven't been since I got back. I need some of those slammer cakes. They have pancakes now, too, for some reason. Ooh. Hey, Captain, Donut Wolf? Well, hi, Angus. How long have you been standing there? Um. They got pancakes now. Fine. Ride the chariot to Donut Hell. <laughs> oh, those two, they are the living end. And that's all the people I've kissed. That's two people. Kinda. One and a half. Whatever. Like, your average is any better. Angus, you've been really quiet. Sorry. You okay? We're gonna get pancakes! Hey, Angus. Angus. Hey. We're gonna get them flapjacks. Angus. <laughs> Page and Dr. Jackson. Dr. Flap Jackson. Please report to my belly. Okay, yes, pancakes. Dude. Dude. <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ. God damn it. Whoa, did we get a flat tire? I'm pulling over. No, don't it, Wolf? Mate. We'll get there. We'll push the car. Okay, you all stay in here. And by stay in, I mean we all get out. Because it's a flat. You don't drive on a flat. Why? Yeah, why? You just don't. It messes up the wheel or something. And you know so much about cars. We can fix it. With what? We're gonna get some sticks? That's silly. No, I mean, people fix tires. It's a thing people do. It's a thing people do when they have a goddamn tire. Guys, why are you being such a dick? Why am I the one that has to be the responsible one? Guys! What, May? Don't yell at May! Ah, uh, I'm gonna wander. Fine. Fine! Okay, ugh. 
Uh, oh. So the heart. Oh! Guys, so what are we doing? Well, I'm trying to figure out where we're gonna, what we're gonna do. We could call someone. Oh, do we suddenly carry phones? Because there's magically signal now in this piece of shit town? Jeez. Okay, well. Uh. Hey, dingus. What? Uh, thank you for both answering. There's a spare tire back here. Oh, oh, nice! That's one good thing. Anyone know how to, like, do the tire? Yeah? Can I help? No. Dude. Mate, you're not a bad person, but I do not trust you with any of this process. Jeez, man. Jeez. Did it get darker? Okay, well, we're not gonna really gonna answer that. <clears throat> Too bad you can't, didn't get partially eaten by a shark. Too bad you can get, get serial killed? Really? Too bad you didn't start doing drugs and then die from the drugs. We tried a while back. We tried weed a while back. Too bad you didn't OD and die from it. Are you two done? Can you OD on weed? This is how I know zero knowledge about drugs at all. Finally here. Yep. Oh, yeah. That wolf with the donut. Oh! Yep. Okay. Angus is pissed. Something's- What is up? Welcome to Donut Wolf, home of the Simer case and now featuring pancakes with special howling mad maple syrup. How would you like to ride the chariot today? Hello, sir. Mighty fine donuts you got there. Thank you, ma'am. We'll take half a dozen go nuts. Dude. We should get a chariot wheels. We got chariot wheels last time. I want slammer cakes. We're actually all out of slammer cakes. What? How could it be out of slammer cakes? That's like half the reason to come here. Just pick something else. Okay, we'll ha take half a dozen chariot wheels. Would you like them with eternity sauce? No. All right, all right, I'll take... Let's do six Doom Nuts. Are those new? Limited edition, ma'am. Well, they're about to be even more limited. And no Eternity Sauce. Last time I had that, I stayed up all night digging a hole in the backyard. That me asleep in the morning. At the bottom of the hole. Yes, ma'am. Are we eating here? I guess. Whatever. Um. Yeah, let's eat here. Fine, I'm gonna find a seat. I have to go use the bathroom. Okay. Wow, this is an awkward setting. This is fun. What? Uh. This isn't fun. This is, this blows. Why are things weird? Why does this feel? Why doesn't this feel good? Everything's stupid. What are we? I'm gonna break something. That's a. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't. Oh, well. Oh, apparently we're. Okay, we're breaking things. Or making them use up their toilet paper. Ah, anarchy! No one can wipe their butts now. It's ruined for everyone. <laughs> That was a bad laugh. Ah. Uh. What the hell? May? Dude, stop! What the hell? Oh, hey, Greg. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Okay, fine. That was a dumb question. Okay, why are you doing this? Do I need a reason? Yeah, I kind of think you do. Since when? What are you even doing in here? Getting you. 
can find a way out myself. Fine. 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 Kind of a weird question, but did you go before you decided to trash the bathroom? Or, Greg, God, Greg, I didn't even have to go. Okay, jeez. I do now! We have a table for- we have a table for when you're done. Leave. Right, okay. Oh my god, what is happening? Fantastic yums! What is happening? Oh, this is so awkward. They're not even sitting together! They're not even sitting together! Oh no, why aren't they sitting together? So... How are you guys doing? Anything new? Other than, you know, all this stuff that's been happening? Ghosts and stuff? Yep. That's pretty new. This is so uncomfortable. Hey Angus, how'd you get Bay's car for the night? She was going to go to the party out of town, but I guess she lost her nerve. Oh. And Greg and I were supposed to do something. This is something. Oh. Let's just eat. Yes, please, let's eat. Woohoo! Oh, I'm so awkward. This is so bad. Oh, God. If God even exists, these donuts. You're not religious, right, Angus? No. Have donuts ever made you think twice? No. Oh, this one. So how is our son working out? He's in our living room. He sure is! Pretty great. Yep. Uh, I want- I want this one. Greg, you're awful quiet. Just eating. You never had a problem talking and eating at the same time. Uh-oh. Oh, God! Oh, this is so uncomfortable. Ugh. Don't it sick already. It smells. Dude. Donut wolf? The robot thing. I thought you liked it. I smell and you like me. Yeah, do both of those things. Greg spent a lot of time and effort on that robot because he thought you loved it. No, he did because it was fun. No matter what he could have, no matter what could have happened. Jeez. Wait, mate, you just said you were sick. Oh, uh, I'm seeing double? That's not okay. I'm gonna take this one. Do you really want another one? I don't feel like we should. Oh, feeling woozy. Angus, you're being rude. I'm being rude? We're trying to get out of here. Both working our asses off, and you come waltzing back into town, and suddenly Greg is breaking into grocery stores. Abandoned ones? And, like, stealing car batteries. Abandoned ones? And messing up our already crappy apartment. Hey, dude, come on. Wait, how is this my fault? Whatever, I'm eating. Really? We're gonna have another one. I- oh, I'm not doing great. I'm not doing- oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna die soon, I think. Oh, cripes. Oh, sweet cripes. I'm falling into the sky. Oh, here we go. I. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. Uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Ugh. So weird colored. Puke usually isn't that color. It was like multiple colors. You okay, May? Yeah, no, ugh. My mouth tastes like broken dreams. I'm really mad at you two. Why? I hate awkward silences. And I'm like, am I like ruining your lives or something? Just tell me if I am instead of whatever this is. Do you not like me anymore, Angus? What? No, May, I like you fine. Why are you being weird then? Uh, so, Angus, I'll take this. Thanks, hon. May, remember my uncle? Sheep farm out past Brittle, out by the interstate? Yeah, kinda. When I was like eight, my parents got sick of me. And made me spend like a month there in the summer. 
And I spent the whole time following him around. Sheep are, sheep are cool. I had a stuffed sheep named Gordon. Sheep are really dumb is what they are. One afternoon before dinner, my uncle left me by the pen. For some reason, I opened the gate. Why? I have no idea. Kids are like sheep. Real dumb. So they are. So a bunch of sheep, so a bunch of the sheep basically immediately bolted. And I chased after them being all, you dumbass sheep. You tried, bug. They ran across the field and into the woods. There was this really steep hill that went down to the interstate. Oh, oh no. What happened? Four got splattered by a semi truck. Oh my God. Some ran back up the hill, but three made it over the median and across the other side, and they just stopped. And I got to the bottom of the hill by the road, which was like covered in sheep cuts and parts. Her <clears throat> we just looked at each other across the interstate. Me waving my hands, two ran back, got hit by another truck. Uh, did the truck stop? They totally didn't. That's probably illegal. But the other one... He ran down the hill to, down to their side into the woods, and no one ever saw him again. Jeez, dude. What happened after that? I mean, he ran back to the farm crying. Michael hit me a bunch. No. Yeah. There was some legal stuff, and they moved away not long after. That's awful for you. Poor sheep. But if I was in their position, I'd have run too. And I want to be that one that got away. And I want Angus to come with me. Like, failed those sheep. I, like, failed those sheep. Just like, you know, everything has failed us. That's a bit... No, no one ever denies it. No one ever tries to talk you out of leaving here. And yeah, being the only queer people in town sucks. I'm here. You already left once. But I'm... Heck. I can't stay. We can't stay. I guess. And I love Angus. I love both of you. Obviously in different ways. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> we have a plan. We're working our asses off to make it happen. Two guys, full time, minimum wage. I have to grow up a bit. I did grow up a bit. May, you have to let me change. This is some deep shit. Sorry I was rude earlier. It's okay. Remember the time we almost burnt down the school? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Fireworks. Student council poster just whoosh. God, that was a good night. Soaked from the sprinklers, running through the parking lot, laughing our asses off. Oh my god, yeah. That was maybe the best night of my entire life. It's one of the great. Uh, was one of the all-time greatest. Kids to talk about it. That night lives on, man. Well, we can at least be legends. Forever. Well, tonight was a complete bust. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop apologizing, Angus. No, I I'm sorry too. It's cool. I have an idea. Oh yeah? You up for one more big crime? You can come time. You can come this to you. You can. Uh, you can come this time, Angus. Do a crime with us. I. Okay. Ah, Captain. Captain criminal. Let's go. Oh, Yay! Oh, that's so fucking creepy. Oof. That thing is really gonna freak some kids out. Yeah, dude. They're gonna tell stories about this thing. They'll never know what it is or how it got here. Are you guys sure you're okay with this? Yeah, this is, this is a good home for it. Leave it for the kids. Let it be a legend. Yeah. Too bad it didn't fall on you. Too bad you didn't get your arm cut in the gears. Too bad both of you didn't get trapped in the car after a wreck and explode all over the road and have to be scraped up with a snow shovel. Nice! Decent, Captain. <laughs> oh. Alright, well. Moving on. Yep. Goodbye. Oh, God's alive. <laughs>